Hello, my name is Anu Omidei with headlines of this week's Christian Weekly News. The UK premiere of the major Christian film God's Not Dead 2 is set for release next week Friday the 22nd of April at the Open Door Cinema in Crystal Palace. Church previews and nationwide screenings will follow that weekend. You can support the film by attending a screening on the opening weekend or organising one for your church or group. Here's the trailer for the film which is sponsored in the UK by Christian Concern amongst others. I hate what people like your client stand for. We're going to prove once and for all that God is dead. You're passionate about what you believe. I mean, let's face it, it's why you're in trouble in the first place. A student asked a question about remarks allegedly made by Jesus, and your answer incorporated scripture itself. Yes. What were you thinking, Grace? I gave an honest answer to a student's legitimate question. I am not going to be afraid to say the name Jesus. They're asking that you be fired plus revocation of your teaching certificate. You're on your own. So what's the good news? I don't like to lose. They've been dreaming of a case like this. They want to make an example of you. Her true motivation was to take an innocent question and turn it into an opportunity to preach. The message of the gospel has a standing in the way of a lot of things that powerful people want. We're at war. I'm the in the matter of Thawley versus Wesley. Mr. Kane will insist faith isn't on trial here, but that is exactly what is on trial. If we grant Miss Wesley the right to violate the law, then our society will crumble. The four Gospels contain the actual words of Jesus. You're looking to prove Jesus Christ existed? That's ridiculous. If we're going to insist that a Christian's right to believe is subordinate to all other rights, then it's not a right. Somebody is always going to be offended. A decision. I would rather stand with God and be judged by the world than stand with the world and be judged by God. God's not dead, he's surely alive. He's God bless you. Careful, or you might end up on trial. He's In other news, an online petition was launched earlier this month to stop the erection of part of the temple of a pagan god Baal in Trafalgar Square on the 19th of April. The Institute for Digital Archaeology's Executive Director, Roger Michel, stated that the reconstruction of an arch of the temple is a political statement, a call to action to draw attention to what's happening in Syria and Iraq. However, Voice for Justice UK, who launched the online petition, says that it does not take issue with the cause, but states that the reconstruction symbolises a pagan god who demanded regular child sacrifices and represents all that is evil. Voice for Justice UK also state that the date of the reconstruction is significant, as April the 19th, in occult belief, is said to mark the first day of a 13-day period known as blood sacrifice to the beast. The petition seeks to gain 10,000 signatures. And finally, the journalist Piers Morgan will not be sanctioned for calling Richard Page a homophobe, bigot and anti-gay, as the media watchdog Ofcom ruled that Mr Morgan did not discriminate against Mr Page. Mr Morgan interviewed Mr Page on ITV's Good Morning Britain following Mr Page's removal by the Lord Chancellor from the Office of Magistrate because of his views on adoption by same-sex couples. Mr Page attempted to explain that he's not homophobic and set out the reasons why. But the interview prompted 70 complaints that Mr Morgan was offensive and discriminatory towards Christians. Ofcom concluded that the interview was balanced and found no evidence of discrimination. Well, that's all for today. I'm Anu Omidei and you're watching Christian Weekly News.